Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to Rich Life Insider. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate you on making a decision to become rich. So today I'm going to talk about the five basic things that you need to know before buying a single stock. So do not ever ever buy a stock before you watch this video. Let's get to it. Okay, so what is stock investing? It can be really profitable, um, you know, if you invest in stock markets. And uh, so this is a screenshot that I have. Uh, I bought uh, Alibaba and Facebook in 2016, at, at the end of 2016. And, you know, I bought at Alibaba at $90. And I sold it at 200 190 something you know uh, in this year so in Facebook I bought at 118 I sold it at 190 something so I made quite a lot of profit on it you know it's it's it's, it's twice what I pay for I make twice what I pay for in one year a little a little over one year so that's not bad at all so you know if you really know how, um, if you do your research if you study and if you um, know about what to buy and you know when to buy you can really make uh, a lot of money in stock markets so yeah this is um as of june 14 2018 uh, i i bought twitter maybe two, two three weeks ago and within three weeks i, I made 41 percent and for netflix i it, it's a little bit over one month so it's already 23.35 percent and uh, right now netflix is up 416 418 so it's, it's more than that i saw netflix at 416 so it, it was quite a quite a bit of big profit you know within a few months and yeah. uh, square i bought at 52 um just beginning of the year in february or march and right now it's about sixty-eight dollars. So I I sold some of it. I still keep some uh, square. So uh, yes, if you look at the the return on your investment, so it can be really profitable because where most businesses, you know, if you have a business that's let's say restaurant, um, they only make about ten percent profit margins. You know, it's it's considered already good if you made twenty thirty percent in in a business. So in stock market, it's, it can be really un, absolutely normal if you make 40%, sometimes 100%, you know, more than 100% within a month or sometimes even in a day. So yeah, that it, it's, it's rewarding, but it's, it can also be very risky if you do not know how to invest in it. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about five basic things. Let's start with number one. It's mar it's called mar market cycles. So stock market has also their own cycles. Every business have their own, their own ups and down. So st stock market is not a, not an exception. Stock market also have ups and downs. Uh, the bull market is called st one that stock market is going up. So investor are optimistic about the economy. So if you are in, in a bull market, and they are optimistic about the economy and stock prices are going up because investors are buying. And so why do they buy? Because they buy because they expect companies' income, earnings. Earnings is also called net income to increase. So yes, I highlight expect because stock market is based on expectations so it's not about the present it's not about the past it's if it's future stock market is future so when you are when you are in a bear market investors are very pessimistic about economy employment uh, so most of the time the bad news are coming out you know like every week or so uh, so stock prices are going down because of selling investors are selling as stocks the company uh, because they expect companies and earnings and net income to decrease earnings and net income they mean the same thing 
So yes, stock market is forward looking. So you buy a stock because you expect the company to do well, company to increase the price, and you sell the stock because you believe that the companies may not make as much money as now. So that's why you sell the stock. Okay, number two. And you could lose money in the stock market. Yes, you can make money and you could also use it, lose money in stock markets. And why do investors lose money in stock markets? Um, number one is because they they invest without studying or without or watching a video like this and they do not do research or they do they do not have a plan. So they lose the money and they are emotional. So let's say, let's say, oh, they really like this company or this stock, whatever, whatever the stock is, and they 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 just love the company. I mean, even if the the data fundamentals or the technical points to the different directions, so they still keep holding the stock. So yeah, so if you are emotional, you can lose money. And let's say you buy a stock today. Tomorrow the stock can go down, you know, like ten percent, twenty percent. It can happen. So you, if you get emotional, and uh, first if you did do not study and you just buy and stop because uh, somebody tells you to buy, and uh, uh, you have a higher chance of being emotional because you did not study, and so you get emotional, you sell the stock, you lose the the money you, you right away you you lose money right away because um, you did not study or you are, and you are being emotional and always invest in a company because you believe in industry and sector and most importantly management you know if you believe that this industry is going to be growing really fast let's say technology or bio, biotech or energy it can be any, any industry mostly the technologies are really hard for the past a few years and so yeah they they are growing really well so always think uh st stock market in terms of long term more than one year unless you want to buy a stock because you think in the next year this company gonna do really well of course uh, you don't you do not need to hold uh, more than one year you can buy today and you can sell it tomorrow if you want but if you are making a decision and you do not want to lose money, you need to think in terms of long term. So how is this company going to do uh, next year or three years or five years? And uh, do you really believe in the company's uh, management industry uh, sector? So once you go into a trade with all the information you need and you do research on it, then you do not need to be afraid that stock gonna go down tomorrow after you buy some some uh, very often after I buy a stock it just goes down like maybe five percent ten percent the next day but I don't really care because I know uh, that I did my homework I did my research and I I knew that it's this stock gonna go up uh, uh, after you know a few weeks you know or it can be a few days uh, like facebook or uh, alibaba I, I bought alibaba 90 dollars and after a few days it's, it just went down to 80 dollars you know so uh, facebook is the same i bought uh, 118 dollars in 2000 uh, at the end of 2016 on 2017 i bought it 118 but after that facebook went down to uh, 100 you know, less than 100 so it was like uh, I lost like 5 percent 10 percent uh, right away but I did not care because I knew that it's gonna go up in the long run yeah within a little over one year I made 100 percent return on those two stocks so so yeah you so this is the rules that you need to follow if you are investing in stock market and number two a price versus value and uh, most beginners they want to buy really cheap prices price stock and there is a difference between price and value and uh, some stocks can cost more than a thousand per share like amazon uh, google uh, 1171 dollars so this is as of today you know um 
July 11, and Bashar Hathaway cost $288,481 for one share. You, if you look at that, you're gonna be so shy. You don't want to buy these stocks. You know, a man's a bad. The value is different. The value is something uh, that is not the same as the price. What you are looking at is the price. The value is that what you are going to get. So the price is what you pay. The value is what you get. So that that company's value can be more than eighteen hundred. Let's say Amazon. You know, the fair value can be 2000 So if you are paying 1700 of $55, would you say it's expensive? No, you're not going to say that. Let's say you go to a shopping mall, uh, you want to buy um, an iPhone. That's the iPhone. So it's basically an uh, iPhone 8 costs about 1000 a 1000 bucks. But for, to some people, it might be expensive, you know, they might be expensive a thousand, but if you are going to use every function in the iPhone and if you do business with the, the iPhone, a thousand dollars might not be expensive to you. It might be so cheap because you the value you are getting and the value you use is so much more than a thousand dollars. So it's the same way that stock market, stock at companies. So the stock price can be really, really high, just like Google, Berkshire Hathaway, but the value that investors are getting can be much higher than that, so the, which is why um, these stock prices are high. Some stocks cost less than 50 cents, some can be like 5 cents, you know. Uh, but you, you don't want to buy those company, those crappy companies because they are so cheap. Uh, you know, they can, they can cost only 50 cents, but their value is only, let's say, 1 cent. So you are paying a uh, very low price, 50 cents back, it's very expensive stock. You get what I mean? So because, because you, you, just because you're paying low price doesn't mean that it's the stock, the stock is cheap. So there is something called market capitalizations. So which is a uh, share price multiplied by outstanding shares. So that gives you the company value as a whole. So. So basically, you need to look at the market capitalization and also price per earning to look at the value. So I will go deep deeper into that um, in a later later video. So make sure you subscribe my channel, uh, so you so that you you do not miss out all of these um, lessons, you know. And uh, okay, let's go to diversification number four. So why is it important? Because no one could time and stock or market properly you know that you will be buying a stock at the bottom what if after you buy it can go down and you might be but you know no one really knows when the stock's gonna um, go up or go down all the time no one's know every single time so it's really important and uh, to diversify your portfolio and also there are so many risk so many factors you do not know um, that is going to happen let's say in 2016 or, or i think in 2017 there was a britain britain's is existing from europe zero so brexit so after after the news came out the stock market crashed for a few days you know so all these things no no one expected in all these things uh, like uh, like President Donald Trump um, tried to, um, you know, impose tariffs on China, and you know all those tweets, everything, um, can. There are so many risks that you do not know that uh, where they will they will be they are coming from, and so if you if investors know the risk, it's already priced in the stock, so the stock. Market is uh, efficient, you know, especially the the blue stocks. So investors are repricing all the risks they, they know. But if it's something that they do not know, and uh, it's a bad news come on, like a, a terrorist, or uh, a terrorist, or or, or or there's an oil, you know, Iran, Iran, Iran does not doesn't produce uh, oil anymore, you know. Gas or oil anymore. So in that situation, investor didn't 
do not expect that to happen. There is there another example would be that there's a war. Oh, you know there's war war in Middle East or in when not not Korea. Uh, suddenly, all of a sudden, you know, investors do not expect that to happen, and then stock market is gonna crash. So in this, so all uh, th these are just some of examples. You know, but most of the time, then, so it can be um, it can be as simple as uh as like uh Twitter, Twitter's uh they do not increase their user. Uh, the number of users. So in that situation, if investors are expecting them to increase their um, their user counts and they do not increase their user counts, so their stocks can go down. So if you are just in investing all your money in Twitter, you 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 could lose your money. So so you you can diversify within the same asset class, which means you are buy different stocks. So the same as as class may is the same, uh, like stocks, or bonds, or within bonds or within real estate within a precious matters. So if you are buying different stocks, so that means you are diversifying within the same asset class, and you you should also diversify across different asset classes like stocks, bonds, precious matters, because sometimes when stock markets crash, the gold. Precious matter, gold or silver, they go up. And uh, also invest in different economies. You, know, you don't want to buy all, all your stocks in US, you know, or China or Singapore or Europe. You want to buy um, stocks in different economies, different markets. And one, the, there is an uncertainty in the market, like the stock market crash and, um, um, U.S. presidents come out and say, you know, I want to, I want, we want to impose tariffs on it. So usually investors fly, put put their money in a consumer stable stock such as Pacifico, Kellogg. So I'm uh, rising. These stocks are these stocks were down uh, a few months ago, and I bought it at a, at the rock bottom, and now they are rising. They appreciated like seventy percent. So within one, one one or two months, so it it, it can change if a stock may not be doing well at this time, uh, but the situation can change. So so that's the reason why you need you want to diversify as much as possible to protect your investment. Number five is gonna be your financial management. Oh, it's really important to you know, manage your finances before. Uh, you think about what to do with your finance, and so invest only after saving an emergency funds of six months or more. Some people can are willing to are fine with three months. You know, so some people I would say six months is a pretty safe um, emergency fund. So in case you you lose your job or you get into accident or your 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 car breaks down, you know, you need some money. Uh, if you do not have emergency fund, and you will lose money because if you sell the stocks to get cash, because when you need some cash, you want to sell stocks. The stocks may price might be lower than what you bought. So that's how some people lose money in stock markets. They they do not wait. They they do not wait to sell the stock. They sell when it's low because they need some cash. So so a, a, a strategy that you can use is you can spread your saving and investing funds when you are saving money. Let's say you save 30% of your income. You can try putting 20% of that 30% to emergency fund and the rest 10% to the investing fund. So you can do these two things at the same time. If you do not want to wait six months to invest, uh, I, I do not encourage you to wait. Uh, I mean, the uh, most important step is to start as soon as possible. Yesterday was the best time, and but today is the second best. So as start as soon as possible. Okay, so I hope you you learn something. So these five uh, ba bases are really important, you know, before you invest. So make sure. Uh, you subscribe 
and if you learn anything today please share the video with your friends you know uh, so that we, we can all get rich together and make sure you subscribe my channel if you have any questions comment below or youtube or facebook or instagram if you have any questions and eh, also if you want this a copy of this slide just let me know comment below and i will see you next time yeah thank you for watching bye